SQL Server database modes. Um, this is one of the important also um, for emergency and offline mode. So instead of I'm corrupting this, what I can do is I will create a one sample database and we can play with that. Here I'm just using and adding the test database. And so for what I can do is instead of using the emergency, I can add it uh, for test. So for this database, currently you can see the database is in online mode. And if you run this database to offline, which means your database is completely going into the on offline. So you will not see any access into this. And I cannot do any, I cannot expand or I cannot perform any because this is completely in the sleeping and offline mode. And for the SQL Server emergency mode, which is uh, mostly used when something database is corrupted and then you want to take that into the emergency mode. So let me take this back to online and for the emergency mode, if I as soon as if I take this and this database will change it to the emergency and the system administrator can access this. And uh, so why we have to do that? For example, if your database is corrupted or something happened, then you instead of applying the data into through the application, what you can do is you will take immediately that database into emergency mode. Then other users will not access through the application. So only the administrator can access and then you can perform that action. Then you can take back that emergency mode to the online so I can run this now you can see the database is back to the online mode so this is how that emergency mode which is used if any database is corrupted and you can take that into the emergency mode and you can perform and resolve the actions whatever you need to be and then you can take the database in back to the online